Hello and welcome to my Ultima 4 playthrough. As you can see, we are here at the gates of uh, Lord British's castle. And I did a little bit of work. I did a little bit of work while we were gone. I noticed something here too while I was doing that work. You'll notice there are the two dots there, kind of between the food and the gold. And I believe that that is indicative of our achieving partial avatarhood in the area of compassion. And uh, so that's good. You'll notice our gold has has gone quite a, gone down quite a bit. And um, I spent some money. We were at like twelve hundred gold or so, I think. We take a look at our stats. You can see that I'm at 1,604. And the reason I made it up to that level was while I was doing my off camera work, I got assailed by another posse of demons, uh, actually bigger than the one we ran away from when we were being poisoned. And it took a while to get through them. So I'm glad we didn't try to tangle with the ones when we were poisoned at all. And then uh, also uh, dragons. I got I, we got hit by a group of dragons as well, so that brought me up to sixteen oh four. So when we talk to Lord British next, I should become level six. And if we look at Shamino, I believe he should now be level four since he's at uh, four hundred experience. I think if I remember if I'm remembering the progression correctly. Um, and same with Joffrey. So those two should also level up. So level four for Shamino, level five for Joffrey. Julia still she only has. 30 more experience points to go, and then she'll be level four, so that's cool. And then Iolo still has a bit to go. He's still got about another, just under 500, just under 500 points there. You can see one of the things I did is I used a bit of our oil, and um, I'm not totally sure I like the oil. It is a ranged weapon. It lets me pick the range, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, there were times when I was, I think it was when I was fighting the demons, I was using the oil. The demon would be right in front of me, and basically I think I've got like a Molotov cocktail kind of thing in my hand. That's how I'm envisioning it, but it's oil instead of gasoline. And I would throw it at him when he's right in front of me, and I would miss. I was like, how does that work? So, yeah, that was kind of annoying. That was kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? So we got three of those left. I might have more. We'll see. Uh, nothing's changed there. Nothing's changed there. You'll see I've got a ton of reagents. That's what the money went for. For the most part, I did buy a little bit more food. And then I did a bunch of spells. So uh, I added four uh, awake spells. Like one of the things that happened when I was fighting the demons is they put they put a couple of the people to sleep so they couldn't fight. And I thought, well, it might be good to have an awake, to have the awake spells ready at hand so that if something like that happens and I need to wake people up so they can help me fight, I can do that. So I made one awake spell for each of my, one for each of my companions so I can wake them up. Uh, I made 10 cures. I got up to 15 fireballs, 10 health. Um, L is light. So we got five opens. I made three protection spells, three quickness spells, and then I made some sleep spells. So this might be good if we want to just uh, put put things to sleep. And um, I don't know if that would work on demons. Might be interesting to see. Could have worked perhaps on dragons. And and then we can get some hits without uh, necessarily getting hits back. So we'll see on that. And then, you know, I just, I kind of stocked up. So we've got, f for all those spells, these are the reagents we need. So we can, we, we've got plenty of stock to, to make more in the future. But what I want to do here is because one of the th other things I did when I was off camera is I I, I looked up and like uh, a sacrifice especially was had the same kind of uh, things as compassion. We, we need to give our life's blood. We need to give to the poor. And so I did a little bit more grinding between here and Britain. And so I want to go to Hawkwind and let's see where we are. I didn't check it last time when we, we were checking to see if... Uh, seeing that we were ready for elevation for compassion. Let's just check the rest of these guys and see how we're doing. So we'll start off with Hawkwind. We will see Lord British before we leave the castle so we can get our respective level ups. We'll talk to Hawkwind. All right, so let's start with honesty. I did in buying all of my reagents, uh, I paid more. So if they came back, and uh, usually about 10 gold more. So if they came back and said it was 100, I paid them 110. I'm hoping, because you know, we're right now at a thief and a scoundrel, which is the bottom of the barrel. 
So I'm hoping we can improve on that. Thou art not an honest soul. Thou must live a more honest life to be an avatar. So that is an improvement. I believe that that is moving me up to number two because I was a thief and a scoundrel. Let's just see what he says about compassion. Thou hast become a partial avatar in that attribute. Thou need not my insight. So we're done with compassion. So that's good to know. So valor. Thou art showing valor in the face of danger. Strive to become yet more so. I'm not really sure. So that's the same thing. No change there. We're four. I mean, we just killed demons and dragons. I'm not totally sure. We're, we're killing lots of things. We're showing valor. And I've been kind of keep leaving myself in the front. And maybe I'll do that more. Maybe that'll help me with that. I don't know. So we'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep that up. So no change with that one. Justice. Thou art cruel and unjust in time that will suffer for that crimes. All right, that is an improvement because last time we were here, it was um, that we were uh, an unjust wretch, which is the very bottom. So we must be doing better as far as not uh, not uh, killing things that, that we shouldn't be killing, like the non the non evil creatures and things. So that's an improvement. So that's good news. Let's check out sacrifice. Thou art giving and good. Thy self-sacrifice is great. Seek now elevation. Excellent. All right, go to the shrine and meditate for three cycles. We know where that shrine is. The shrine for self for sacrifice is in the middle of a lake north of Vesper. We found it. So we can go back and vi revisit that. So that's cool. That's cool. All right. All right. Hawkwind, you're giving me good news, buddy. I appreciate that. All right. What other path? Uh, let's see. So that was sacrifice honor. I don't think this is going to change at all because we haven't been to a dungeon yet. Thou dost need to show thyself to be more honorable. The path lies before thee. This is actually an improvement because last time was dost not fight with honor, which is a, a two. So so this has got to be a three. All right. I'm, I mean, I'm getting some good news from Hawkwind here. This is, this is excellent news. Uh, and then spirituality. Spirituality is in thy nature. Seek ye now the elevation. Oh, good. We get two of them. We have two of them. We can, we can, um, I think I now know what we're doing for the rest of this episode. That is, once again, fabulous news from my good buddy, <laughs> Hawkwind. Uh, and now let's just, uh, so we got to go to the shrine. So the, um, spirituality one was the gate at Minoc where we do the double new moons. Or full moons, full moons. And that'll take us there. So we can do that. So, and that's kind of a good way for us to get to the shrine by Vesper as well. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. All right. What other path seeks clarity? Let's just make sure I haven't screwed up humility. I have not. We are still ready for elevation. All right. Thank you very much. Mr. Hawkwind, my new buddy. He beat us up so badly that one time. I was like, are we ever going to become an avatar? Because we're obviously a horrible human being, but apparently we're getting our poop in a group and getting our act together. All right, I am now level six. Shamino is level four. Oh, Joffrey didn't make level three? Oh, or level, I'll have to look at that again. All right, so, but it's excellent. I got more. So if I look at my, look at the stats. So I think I got to get to like 3,200 experience points now. Because it's like a doubling all the time. So it might be quite a while before I hit seven. Um, Shamino. Level four, 
is 400. Okay, so Shamino was already a four. Um, so probably 800 will get them to level five. And then Julia, and uh, okay. All right. So let's, uh, we are going to first take the Moongate to Minoc, which is um, close to the Shrine of Spirituality. And we'll do that one first. Come on, dude. <laughs> These guys just kill me sometimes. Alrighty then. All right, so we need to go, and there's the moon gate. Let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Minoc, and that is we can actually go there directly from here. So we don't have to do a connecting moon gate, as it, as it were. So we will wait for the uh, the moons to come around again so that we can go to Minoc. Okay, so here we are at the at the Minoc moon gate. And we need to wait for double full moons. And then we will be at the Shrine of Spirituality. All right. You enter the ancient shrine and sip it for the altar. What virtue dost thou meditate on? Spirituality for one cycle there we go the mantra is om o m there we go o m thou art granted a vision seek ye to know thyself visit the seer often for he can see into thy inner being oh so just the act of visiting hawkwind has been a plus there that's that's cool to know all right so now we need to oh, hold up in camp not that we need it from a hit point perspective but you know time needs to pass because we're weary we need to rest all right, so let's come down here, and we're going to have to wait for it to get through its Moongate cycle again. Okay. Spirituality for two cycles this time. <sighs> My mind is still weary. All right, so more time has got to pass. I'm not quite sure how much. So I think what we'll do is... I'm going to kind of just hang out here for a bit and I will return when I'm able to successfully do the, do the meditation the second time. Spirituality. All right, here we go. Two cycles. We begin our meditation in this quiet grove in the rocky landscape with the seawater lapping on the shore. And we go, Om. Somewhere in the distance, a seagull complains about lack of food and swoops and dives on the gentle sea breeze. And we meditate and go, Om. And we are granted a vision because our thoughts are pure. Meditation leads to enlightenment. Seek ye all wisdom and knowledge. So I'm guessing that meditating, like for compassion, doing the meditation there, helped with this, which is interesting. Because I was really unsure what to do on this. To, to grow this particular skill. But I guess, you know, obviously we've made it there. All right, I will be back when it is time for the third and final meditation. 
All right, trying to rest up between before our third meditation. And um, these things have decided to fight us. And I don't think they are... These are slimes. I'm going to guess these are evil creatures. I'm hoping they're evil creatures. All right, that slime's fleeing. Whoops. Went too far. All right. They die pretty easily. Now he's fleeing, but he's fleeing toward us, which is never a good a good uh, a good idea. All right. We wait once again. Okay, let's try for three. Yes, finally. This is like my third time trying to do the third three cycle meditation. So, so that's very good news for me. We can finally get down. We will have two of the four of the, two of the eight uh, uh, virtues. We will have achieved after our hood in those. So that's good. If we can make it down to the uh, the lake by Vesper, we can uh, maybe do three this episode. That might be a bit of a bit of a tall order. What we might try to do is just get down to Vesper and then we'll do this trying to sacrifice next time because, you know, as as restful as all this meditation is and listening to the mountain goats bang on the mountains and the seagulls cawing and all that, you know, it doesn't make for riveting TV. All right, thou has achieved partial afterhood in the virtue of spirituality. Oh, yeah. Thou art granted a vision. Okay, where last time... Um, we got a symbol that was a, a vertical line with like a tilde through the middle of it. Now we've got what looks like kind of an up arrow here. So I'm assuming that this will have some some uh, meaning in the end game. I'm not sure what that is, but I am recording these in my notes. So I have them if I need to revert, re, uh, revert refer to them. Let's bring up the map and briefly. And you can see we're at the Shrine of Spirituality, which is at the Moon Gate uh, right next to Minoc there. We're going to come down the Bloody Plains, and I think what we'll do is we'll make our way over to Vesper. And uh, we'll at least get that done this episode. I think there is like a sextant or something we can get there. So that might be fun. Um, that might be fun to get. So let's, uh, let's put the map away, and uh, let's go a little cross-country. So we're going to come down here. I think what I want to do is go... Oh, we got Ettons. We have two little Ettons. Aren't they adorable? They are so cute. That one's critical. I'm not sure there's going to be anything for you guys to do. I'm almost tempted to give like Julia or somebody a sling, because I did happen to notice we have an extra sling. Um, all right. Oh, I didn't realize he was lined up. That guy's critical. Take him out, Iolo. Helps if you don't miss. All right, get Iolo. All right, good. So we gotta go down south of this stuff. And I'm gonna ignore that magic guy as long as I can. And we're gonna hit some mountains. Yep. Oh, I, did, I was so busy looking at the map, I didn't even see these headless here. All right, Mr. Headless, you're already fleeing. You are unworthy. 
All right, you're not fleeing. You're not fleeing. Ready, sling. I see Julia's um, accuracy really isn't any better <laughs> than minor Iolo's. I mean, a sling, by definition, is not a super accurate weapon. There we go, lightly wounded. My guy's fleeing, or so he thinks. Now that guy's fleeing. All right. All we have left is this one last fleeing guy. Get Iolo. I'm going to have, I, you know, I've always been doing Iolo, but I'm going to continue that just because he's, um, you know, he's not doing anything else as far as, you know, he's, he's mainly, I leave him in the back. Here we are in Vesper. Arms, we don't need that. That's the sleeping place. That's the pub. Here's the guild. Yes, I would. And here's the thing. I think we saw this. I think we were told this in miscellaneous. Yeah. Barkeep and Britain Pub told us to ask for item D in the guild shop. So that's what we're going to do as long as we're here. A sextant for 900 gold. Well, I don't have 900 gold. So I guess I'm going to say no. All right. Well, we know how much it costs, at least. 900 gold, huh? Wow, that's kind of brutal. Oh, that's his gold. All right. We don't want to fuss with that. What's over here? Did I talk to this guy? I think I did. Help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Thank you. I knew that. Thank you. All right. Is there anything else here that we need besides these guys to get the frack out of our way? That's the uh, the pub. Is there anything else I was supposed to ask of the pub? Ask in pub at Sexton. I did that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bard. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So there's something really we need there. I don't think. Um, so... Let's see what's down here. I, I got to remind myself what's in Vesper. I don't really recall. That's just the road out of town. That's just the road out of town. So they got food and they got arms. Is this where I got... What did you have, sir? Buy. Daggers, slings, bows, flame and oils. Five gold piece each. Give me two. All right. Nope. All right, so that gives me up to five of the flaming oils again. I wonder how much this guy buys food for. I did check to see um, her specialty is green grunket, which costs two, piece, two gold pieces. How many plates would you like? Man, that's kind of expensive. That's kind of expensive. I think I'm going to pass on that. Pub food is expensive, you know. <laughs> but Moonglow, when I was at Moonglow, I checked their food prices. I actually bought some food there, and it was it was a lot less. All right, let's see if we can make it to that shrine. Do I want to make it to that shrine, or do I want to stop here? I, maybe we'll stop here, and we'll go outside next time, and we'll deal with that. Well, maybe we'll deal with the mage, because i got to go outside to save. Yeah, let's deal with this guy. <laughs> One mage. Oh, boy. I'm so scared. All right. All right I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go up and take care of them. I'll send Julia and Iolo to hit him in his flanks, maybe. I think this is going to be a range battle. All right.
Maybe not. He's going to get right in my face. He's going to get right in my face. He's barely wounded. ILO can back me up. Be me and ILO doing the heavy lifting this time. Come on, ILO. He's still barely wounded. This guy seems to have. Now he's lightly wounded, so that's an improvement. Still lightly wounded. Now he's heavily wounded. Yeah, now we're. He's, he's got took a rock to the eye, and and the blood is starting to run into his eyes, and it's messing with his vision, and his one arm isn't working very good, and now he's fleeing. Oh, foolish mage. Oh, you are fleeing, huh? You're going to go that way. Well, good luck with that. All right, good. Let's get... Iolo, acid trap, not too bad. All right, but I think that's where we're going to leave it for this time. Uh, next time, we'll go up to the Shrine of Sacrifice, and we will be coming after again. You'll notice here, um, we've got now three dots there. So I think that's going to build some sort of a little picture. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be. Um, maybe an onk, perhaps. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if there's room above the two dots there from Compassion, but maybe that's going to turn it into a little onk as we achieve after our because that is part of the, the way things look here. So we'll see. We'll find that out in the future. But uh, thank you for joining me on this episode. I do hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you. Oh.